Storytelling has the power to build communities and bridge divides. Learning about the folks around you is a simple first step. Join us as we connect with our neighbors to hear their stories and explore the ways they bind our community together. We're Mid-Continent Public Library and it's nice to meet you. I'm Lizzie Cook. I'm an artist. I'm based right here in Kansas City, Missouri. So my business, the name is The House of Timber. I specialize in hand-cut logos, signage, and branding. Ooh. <laughs> Life growing up for me was definitely interesting. I was raised in what I think is widely considered a cult. Lots of structure, lots of being put inside a very tiny box. In an organization like that, so much of you is stripped away and you march on this path of conformity. The times that I felt most like me was when I was making things. As a kid, it was definitely when I was creating with my grandma. She was an artist through and through. She dressed wild, she drove a copper colored car, her hair was bright red. She was always painting. I mean, it was anything from landscapes to florals to naked women. She looks at us one day and she's like, let's go dumpster diving. And we went and got a bunch of wood from the neighbor's house that was being built. And we went into the backyard and we didn't just build a tree house. We built like what to me felt like a tree mansion. She always told me, she's like, you're gonna do something with this someday. And so she taught me a lot about who I was as an artist very early on. In an organization like that, you typically get married very young. So I'm engaged at 17, married at 18, but I was um, found myself in a violent situation. I was a victim of domestic violence. And that for me was a really defining moment because his dad owned a lumber yard. So at the times that he was not in a healthy spot, I would kind of tuck myself away into the garage and I would start to just tinker with things. I'm learning how to hang a door. I'm learning how to fix a hole punched in the wall. It was filled with all this shame that I started creating and building things to kind of mask the situation. And doing that built so much confidence in me. I left that organization, I left that marriage, and the only thing I took with me were the tools. That took me on a whole journey. I was the girl that was like, you wanna to move to Nashville? Sure, why not? I had a neighbor. It was a guy named Trapper. I was over in my garage running my planer. And he comes out and he said, are you woodworking in this garage? And he's like, no way, good for you. I actually built this, this canoe. He said, my wife and I, we almost got to the Gulf of Mexico in it. We had this little picket fence between the yard and any project I would do, I would take it up to the gate and I would say, you know, Trapper, look at this thing that I'm making. One sign, he crossed his hands and he's like, that's really something. And something about his confidence in the piece that I had just made gave me even more confidence to keep going. There wasn't a lot of risk in me saying, I bet I could do this full time. So I moved back home and started my business right there out of Caldwell, Kansas in a dirt floor barn, selling logo signs. When I found out I was pregnant, it was definitely in this find yourself life window. Honestly, for a while it felt dooming. I'm like, what am I gonna do? But what is beautiful about it is I took my business full time January of 2019. And I had my daughter August of 2019. Her, her name is Crew. She was with me from the very beginning. She was with me before I even decided to take the LLC leap. Let's do this, this is full time, I'm chasing it. I already had her in me. I made this promise early on that if my daughter asked me to help, I wouldn't brush it off. I would find something in her capacity that she could do, and she has blown me away. She knows what walnut is. She can identify cherry. She knows what the tools in this shop are. She's learned the alphabet from helping me sand letters on my logo signs. And we've learned so much together, and she loves coming in here, and it's honestly my pride and joy. 
while I love creating and I love making these logo signs and art pieces, my biggest passion is actually teaching others how to do that. So very early on, actually my first year in business, I recorded multiple tutorials. I'm also able to go into somewhere local, Operation Breakthrough, and we get to really work with our urban core. And we do have a great art community, like especially here in Kansas City. Anything down in the West Bottoms and Crossroads, there's so many opportunities and shops to market yourself and put some of your pieces. I found a great clientele even locally. When Crew sits back and thinks about her mom, I just want it to be that her mom was happy and fulfilled. And we did a lot together. We spent so much time together. And that's the legacy I just want to leave and give her the hope that she could do that too.